Good morning. This is Froggy and today we're going to do a installation of a UUC big boy clutch stop and some UUC bushings, clutch pedal bushings on a 1995 BMW M3. There's the bushings and that is the big boy clutch stop first thing I'm going to do is pull the driver's seat to give me better access to the area underneath uh, the steering. I've already got the panel out. Three screws to get that panel that's right where your knees hit and I think it's probably going to be four bolts to take the seat out and a couple of electrical connections. Here's a Vader seat. I put it on a scale just for the fun of it in case you guys are wondering what Vader seats weigh. And that is let's see, 67.1 pounds of seat. Seat removed, uh, put a few pillows down to lay on, going to go underneath the dash now. There are three brassy clips like this that have to come off. One holds the clutch pedal to the clutch bracket, one holds the clutch pedal to the clutch master cylinder plunger, and the third one holds the clutch pedal spring. So three of them. They're brassy. I'll show you how to get them out later on. Okay, here's the pedal out on my bench. The UUC instructions said to remove the clutch sensor switch either by removing the bracket or removing the switch. I didn't have to do either one. I'll tell you why. What I did, I took the um, electrical connections off the brake, uh, brake switch and the clutch switch just to give myself a little room. Then I took the pin, I kind of wiggled the clutch on this top, the top bushings, these are, these are the plastic bushings that are, that are too loose and they're going to be replaced by the uh, the white bushings from UUC. But once you get this piece off, there's a lot of play here and you can wiggle this to the right if you're upside down, it's to the left if you're on, you know, sitting in the driver's seat. Um, but you can wiggle it the clutch connection, the clutch shaft connection has, it, it's flexible, it has it has like a universal on it so it'll move around a little bit. So you start wiggling this thing to wiggle it off the top. The top pin stays there. The top pin, like my hand is a top pin, it stays there. This is the clutch master pin here and that's what you want to get out just by wiggling the top to give yourself some room, then you eventually wiggle this out. Once this comes out, the spring falls out. You don't need to tie a spring together or, or do anything about the spring. You do have to remember how it goes back together. The spring goes over this plastic finger, this piece goes on the top, and then there's a metal piece that goes on and that sits in the bracket. It, it, sits and attaches to another metal piece. So you're going to do the opposite of this when you put it back together. I couldn't get any pictures under the dash while I was doing all this. I'm sorry, but it's, it's just too tight and I don't have enough hands to do that. If you have a question, you can post it up on the, on the video and I'll answer the question. Okay, I cleaned up the pedal with some brake cleaner fluid and then some of that uh, purple power and uh, rinsed it off and dried it off. 
so it's nice and clean now. The new UUC bushings are a perfect fit. There was no rounding out on the pedal or elongating, so there was no need to replace the pedal. If these don't slide in really nice, then you've got wear here inside the barrel of the pedal and you'll need a new pedal. Uh, I'm going to lubricate this after I get these two in. I'm going to lubricate in here and on the shaft that this will rotate on, I'm going to lubricate it with uh, some white grease I think, some white grease. Um, UUC says to lubricate it but it doesn't say what to use. Uh, just you want to use some kind of grease that doesn't run when it gets really hot. If you park your car out on a hot day, you know, everything heats up inside especially. So something that has a high temperature, a high temperature grease, um, maybe brake, brake grease. And then we're going to start putting it back together. Putting the spring back in, I am going to use the suggestion that UUC explains. Uh, take a couple of zip ties and put the spring in a vise. Be careful, it's under a lot of pressure when you when you uh, close it up. And uh, then tie the spring so it's shorter and it should go in easier. We'll see. Okay, we've got everything back together now. I left the three clips off. We've got lubrication in here, lubrication on this pin which goes to the clutch master cylinder. Spring is compressed. Lubrication here. Three clips ready to go. Oh, by the way, I used some uh, silicone that I had. It's good for 20 below zero up to 600 F, so this ought to work pretty good. Also, UUC gives you some washers, some thin, looks like steel washers, to really tighten up the tolerances. I put one on the pin that's in the car, and I've got one more to go if I need it. Uh, I want this pedal to be nice and tight this way, not heavy going down, but tight this way so there's no slop in it like that. Well, it's all back together. I'm going to apologize for not having very many pictures underneath where the pedals are, but it was uh, almost impossible to get video in there um, with lighting and so forth. So I want to conclude with a couple of tips what I found out in the UUC directions they do say to pull off the bracket that holds the switch for the clutch and the brake there's a little bracket it holds two electrical switches for the clutch and the brake um, I tried to do it without removing that bracket don't try it you'll just waste a lot of time remove the bracket and I got the clutch pin to the clutch uh, cylinder the first time. It was real easy. Uh, the other thing is compressing the spring. You got to compress it a lot and be careful because it's dangerous to have a compressed spring just sitting around. So compress it as much as you can. I put four tie wraps on it just to be safe when I put four tie wraps on it and I had it compressed as far as I could uh, I was able to get the spring pin back in without any trouble uh, so that's about it if I missed anything just post a question and I'll check